hi guys thanks so much for watching me I know I've been MIA the last couple of weeks but that's because if you've watched my previous videos you know that I've been on vacation I just got back a couple of days ago I kind of had to unpack get back to work and restart my regular life right so I'm gonna be doing my July budget report I have 19 transactions to place more than 19 so this video might actually be a bit long because I'm gonna have to place these into their categories I'm also gonna balance out everything and we're gonna see how I did for July so let's do these transactions that I have here so I have 19 transactions most of these are like food and clothing clothing for my trip so the first transaction is from Boohoo. I made an order and had it shipped to where I was staying abroad. So it was $88.44. And most of those clothes were pretty good. Most of those clothes are the ones that I brought on my trip. But I had some extra ones. Oops, that was in the wrong thing. How do I move this? Whoopsie. Guess I'm a bit rusty. Alright, let's edit it here. So this is going to go under clothing for Mexico because most of it was for my trip. I think I have like three different clothing budgets. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Need a lot of clothes. I'm a girl after all. Alright, so that was that one. And then Rose Colored Days is a shop from Etsy. It was having some kind of sale. So I had to buy some stuff that was around $40. I'm going to put it under miscellaneous. Someone please remind me to create a category for planner stuff because I bought more planner stuff. But not in July. It was August. And then when I reached New York, my friend was like, oh, you need an unlimited weekly metro card so that we can go a lot of places, right? And it was $33, which is ridiculous to me. That's like a lot. That was just for a week. And I was looking how much the month cost. Uh, unlimited monthly. It was like 120 something dollars. And I was like, whoa. New Yorkers are paying a whole lot to get around. It's $275 per ride. That's ridiculous. I'm actually going to put it under... What should I put it under? I'm going to put it under miscellaneous. I was going to put it under auto gas and oil, but no. Let's just put it under miscellaneous. So that was for my Metro card, my first Metro card for that week. And then I went to Target for some miscellaneous things for the trip, like a beach bag and stuff like that. Some travel size, conditioner, soap, those kind of things. I actually should have a miscellaneous under Mexico, but it's okay. We're gonna put it under hmm, we're gonna put it under miscellaneous shopping. Okay, it really was like regular stuff, not anything to wear. And then DSW I had to buy some shoes because my friend had me going all over to different like bars and stuff and I didn't bring any heels. So she's like, I need some heels. So I'm gonna put this under clothes in New York because it was for things that I was gonna do in New York. That's $21.96 H&M. This was just one dress for $10, which I think was a steal. So I'm going to put this under clothes in New York also. Primark. This was the day that we went to Staten Island, and there's no other Primark in New York, I think. So I thought all the prices were cheap compared to everything that I was seeing in the city. So I kind of went a little bit crazy. Not too crazy. So this was $32.88, which was okay. And next time I'm, I go to New York, I actually want to go back to Primark because we didn't spend a lot of time there. And then Forever 21, this is still on Staten Island. This was just a one skirt that was on clearance, so that was good. And then we had Dairy Queen. I paid for this because my friend, most of the places that we went to, she kind of paid. So I'm going to put this under da -da 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 Dairy Queen under restaurants CVS this was some water we had to buy 
So put that under there. Well, I had to buy because I can't drink the water that's in New York. Just because, you know, when you go to a new country, you're not supposed to drink their water because your your body is not used to the bacteria that's in the water. So it might cause you to get sick. So my sister didn't have any bottled water at her house. So I had to buy my own. And then Wendy's. We went to Wendy's someday. I'm not even sure. This was me and my friend again. So I'm just going to put this under restaurants. JC Penny. This is not right because I actually returned some of these items because that was a lot. I think a bit, I went a bit ham on this JCPenney day. Because this was in New Jersey and you know they don't have any tax on clothing in New Jersey. So I was like, oh, let me go crazy. Only to find out that they don't have any tax, I think, until up to a certain amount on clothing in New York. So it wasn't even that great. So this was actually 120 and 74. I returned a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna put this under New York clothing just because New York clothing. I think most of the stuff were for New York, like regular items. I'm not really sure actually. All of the clothes I'm gonna clothing I'm gonna have. So it's not. It doesn't really matter if it's New York or. Mexico clothing, but I'm just gonna put it there and then this food is actually some sort of groceries I was bored one day and I went to the supermarket and I bought like a whole bunch of junk food For me and my sister. So I'm gonna put this here And then New York and company. I love this store every time I go I always manage to find my birthday outfit there. So this was my birthday outfit that I had which was a really cute like jumpsuit and it also was a pair of jeans which are really cute a bit expensive for my taste but we got great discounts and I'm gonna put this under New York clothing right let's put this under New York clothing right Smash Burger is a restaurant that my sister is obsessed with she always wants to go there so we went to Smash Burger and I paid for this one because there was some sort of coupon thing. So I just said, okay, let me pay. Family dollar. This was like some miscellaneous things that we had to get. And food was also included. So I'm just going to put it under food. BJ. So I bought a waterproof camera from Amazon. But it didn't come with an SD card or anything. So I had to get an SD card. And I got a 64 gig at BJ's and it was $32.65. I think they tricked me because on the shelf it was $29.99 and then they added their 8.8% tax and it jumped to $32.65 which is so annoying because then I would have just picked the lower gate but it's okay so it was $32.65 for that and I'm gonna put that on a miscellaneous. That was the day before my trip so the evening before my trip so I was not in any mood to be rushing up and down trying to find anything cheaper and then tips to go to Mexico my friend ad advised me that I needed to bring like um, 50 singles $50 in singles so I brought the $50 in singles and I only came back with $16 so those tips were like for your maid who clean the room daily or for like any restaurants you go to they really want you to tip them preferably in American dollars and some of these tips was also used for the bus because the bus was like 12 12 pesos right the rate was one American dollar to 17 pesos so the bus was like 12 pesos which is less than a dollar so if I didn't have the pesos on hand I could just give them the dollar for the bus ride which was great and we took the bus a lot because the, the way it's kind of set up is that you have a hotel zone and our hotel was not like in the heart of the zone but it was pretty close it was like right not on the earth's outskirts but like in the middle of the zone so if you wanted to go to the heart of the zone, we had to take a bus. If we wanted to go anywhere, really, we had to take a bus because everything around us were other hotels and beaches. So, but we didn't take a bus a lot, but we we didn't take a bus every day, but we took it quite a lot. So I'm going to put these tips under, I really should have had miscellaneous for Mexico, but 
I'm just going to put it under miscellaneous up here, which is like $100 over budget. Ooh, child. And then souvenirs. I'm going to put the, uh, I spent $100 on souvenirs. That was for like all my family and some friends that I had in New York. Family here and friends that I had in New York. So I'm going to put this and souvenirs for myself, of course. So it was $100 for souvenirs. And that was it. Oh, I, I should have put more mm, Mexico clothing, but it's okay. So let's us recap everything that is going on. So for my P1, my income for the first part of the month that already came in $6 below budget. My P2, it came in a little bit higher than I expected. So I'm going to put this in. It was around $1,702.86. And this came in on the last... Was it? it came in on the 7th, so this will be on the 21st, so before I went on my trip. So I'm going to put that there. So it was a little above budget. Sorry about that. So we're going to reconcile this. So we're going to put this to 1640.11. And then this was one, whoops, 1702.86. And then I received $220 for my extra hours, which is okay. And then miscellaneous. So I had a refund that was due to come in. It wasn't actually due this july it was due, due like september but it came in quicker than i thought because i did it online instead of doing it like um manually oh i think i already explained it in my previous video but i also got a refund from zafu so that was those two refunds and that was 772 dollars so that was that so i actually have 828 dollars left over and i don't think i did that bad on my shopping or anything like that i think i did pretty good which is great all right so let's reconcile so gas and oil i spent 40 dollars before i left and then miscellaneous was 127 dollars and 22 cents and this was for uh etsy stuff these two are etsy things shipping refund and then these are in new york like my tips for mexico my sd card and my bus fee card thingy so that was 122 and then groceries I actually have 15 dollars left which is not surprising so that's pretty good so what is this 90 guys i'm not good with math so i'm just going to Use my calculator because that's what it's there for. So this was eighty four twenty four. I'm actually like kind of excited. Eighty four, I think twenty four. I said right. So that's right. And then restaurants, I have sixty dollars and seventeen cents left. You know, I shouldn't even change this because these kind of carry over until August because I was still in New York for August. So should I leave it? I mean, it's not like it's not going to roll over for the. It's not going to roll over like sinking funds. So I'm going to leave it. And then come back to that. No, I'm going to write down what I had, the balance that I have, so that it can kind of roll over for next month. So give me one second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So I think I was at groceries. I don't know how I jumped past miscellaneous. So let's just do miscellaneous. So that would be $50 extra. So that would be $1. 77.22 I think it was 
right so that's zero out and now back to groceries so what I'm gonna do is just write down the remainder that I have and carry it over to August because I was still in New York for these for around six or a week more after July ended so yeah definitely a week because I left on the 7th so I'm gonna do that I already written down I already wrote down this so let us zero this out a424 it was 8424 and then for restaurants I had so my budget is gonna be off because of this that I'm doing right here so I'm actually gonna put a category where I kind of like have it to bring over to the next month so this is 89 83 that I spent and then I paid off my debt before I left I was wondering why I had so many so much money left over to budget but I forgot that I got that refund so that was really unexpected thinking funds I'm gonna leave these the same Clothing for New York, I still have $223 remaining, so I'm going to put that. Clothing NY. And I think I get rid of that at the first week of August. Not too sure. I guess we'll see. I kind of just spent money. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I kind of just spent money and then... I reconcile it at the end so now is when I'm actually really trying to see how much money I spent so for clothing 27657 27657 miscellaneous shopping it was 138 34 left so I spent two I think it actually takes more time for me to try to act like I'm smart and calculate it in my head so I'm just going to do this calculator it is 61 66 what did I put under this oh my target shopping okay all right so for with Wisconsin, this is actually for August 5th to 7th, so I am going to leave this thinking fund there. Car fund didn't contribute anything to that. Alright, so for food, what happened is that when we were in Mexico, I didn't do, I didn't buy a lot of things because it was my birthday week and my sister and my best friend they were super generous with me they didn't really allow me to pay for anything in terms of food breakfast we were on our own so for the five days that we were there we had to find breakfast for ourselves one day we actually had breakfast at the hotel which yeah I did pay for that so I'm gonna add that now and then lunch three out of the five days we had lunch with whatever activity that we were doing that was provided with the excursion so that was good dinner I didn't pay for dinner no I paid for dinner one time right so food was pretty good and it's not that it's cheaper the food in Mexico it's cheaper it's pretty comparable so so for breakfast where did we go for breakfast today oh we had breakfast at the hotel I forgot so it was I paid for all three of us it was around 450 pesos so 450 divided by 17 so it was around 26 dollars for all three of us and that was on the last day that was on the 30th right so I'm put that there and then I also paid for tacos on the last night but that was just for me and my friend because my sister was knocked out she was like nah I'm not going anywhere I'm gonna put that there so that was around $20 which was pretty good 
and then the only other thing that I paid for was the, this club that we went to. It was called like Vaquita. So how they do the clubs in Mexico is that you paid you pay a cover charge and then you go in and it's unlimited drinks. So it was just my friend and I that went to the club. My sister, she's a bit older. Not to say that she's too old to go to the clubs or something, but she's she loves her sleep. Okay, so she could not find the energy to go to any club so because they were paying for everything I decided to just pay for this club and they charge us in the US so we went to the cheapest club so it was thirty dollars per person for the club but when they charge it on my car they my card also charged a transaction a foreign transaction fee and then the exchange rate kind of bumped it up so it became sixty five dollars So that was the cheapest club. Can you imagine $30? They went up to like $50. I think the highest that I heard was $80, which was crazy. I'm not about to spend that money to go stand up and listen to some, to some music and drink like three, maybe four cups of alcohol. My friend went crazy. Like she got drunk. I could not do that because all I could think about was, oh my God, we still have to take the bus home and we're in a foreign country. I'm not about that life. So I had like three drinks maximum because I'm kind of a lightweight. I don't mess with alcohol like that. So track that. So that's what I'm going to put under food. So I'm just going to reconcile this because I don't need to carry this over because Mexico is finished with. So 200 minus 88.6, $111.40, that's what I spent, which sounds a lot for three things, but whatever. Clothing, I'm actually going to write down the extra for this because I think I might need this money for clothing for New York because I didn't really do any shopping like for myself until I came back to the States. So I'm going to subtract 150. So 88.40. Souvenirs, I went $30 over, put that at 100. Lashes, I'm just going to leave these sinking funds. I don't really need to leave them because I'm not, this is probably like for like years, months down the, down the way. I don't understand how I put this isn't all oh, the transactions are there oh so I can just put what I did yeah because I don't need this so let's put 52 here how do you get rid of this fund I think I had this from before all right I'm just gonna leave that alone so all of those are what's left those leftover balances in those funds Alright, so it says I have $1,254.21 to budget. So I am just going to create a category to roll this over because I know I'm going to need that extra money. This is not, this month is not really a every dollar budget because I am doing this whole rollover thing. But I'm going to put it under unavoidables. And I'm just going to label it as rollover. Because I know that I still have a lot of transactions to track. So I don't want to not roll this over. And then when I reach to my actual budget, when I'm not going to get in a page, half a paycheck, like I'm only getting one paycheck for this month for August because I missed those three weeks of work. So I don't want to make it seem like I don't have the money when I do have the money to roll over so now it's an every dollar budget so things to recap pay I kind of did average it pay D my extra hours I didn't do as much as I wanted to and I don't think I'm going to do as much as I want to for August either just because a week has passed and I'm kind of behind I got that extra seven, almost $800 in income, which was great. It's really going to help me out for this month. Emergency fund, I was low in what I put in there, but I'm going to up it for August. Everything else in terms of savings, I put what I usually put. 
gas was down it's going to be down for August too. Not a lot, but a little bit. Miscellaneous, way out, rollover. Groceries are and restaurants are what I rolled over. Student loan, if I have the extra money from the rollover, I might actually put more. But this month for July, I just met the minimum because I didn't know how my cash flow was going to be like. Clothing, I've spent 200 almost $300 on clothing so far. And I know I spent more than that. Miscellaneous shop in Wisconsin that is for next month for August, first week of August. And then Mexico, Cancun, it was a great experience. I actually would go back to Mexico, maybe not Cancun because there's not much that was there that I did not do. So I'd go to like Cozumel or Cabo, right? That's the other Mexico city that I was trying to think of. And funnily enough, my Spanish came back with came back to me with a quickness. Like I thought I didn't remember any Spanish because the last time I did Spanish was in high school. But I could kind of, you know, wiggle my way through what I wanted them. What I wanted. But like there was this incident in the hotel where the safe was broken and had everyone's passport and money in there. And they sent a guy that could only speak Spanish to our room and it was just me and my sister and my sister was not interested in trying to figure out what he was trying to say like she didn't speak any Spanish the whole trip we were there and I was there and I was trying to get what he was trying to say but it was like lost I was so lost <laughs> and it was so sad because I was thinking oh my god I'm I, I'm actually kind of okay in the Spanish and then this guy came and he just like proved me totally wrong he was like girl you don't know nothing about no Spanish and it wasn't even like he was talking fast because that's the main thing with people who are speaking Spanish because it's their language they speak so fast you can't even pick out you can only pick out like one or two words but like everyone else they kind of spoke like you know little words to get for you to kind of get what they're saying they spoke kind of slower he didn't even speak that fast it was just like words that I wasn't used to like I didn't know at all so Cancun was a great experience I really enjoyed it and kudos to my best friend because she planned this trip from start to finish and she did great like for my birthday we went on a cruise like a boat trip to an island and then we had lunch and we did snorkeling which I've never done before so that was so awesome we had this shark thing where we had to like swim with the shark not really swim we kind of just swam to it and pet it while they were holding the shark so the shark couldn't get us so it was great and I really enjoyed it so guys that is everything for July I'm gonna wrap up my budget right here Check out my August budget that I'm going to post next. It's going to show you what I have planned for the rest of the year because now that my trip is over with, I kind of have to get back to reality. I have to start planning for some things that I kind of put off, maybe focus a little bit more on debt, start planning for more vacations maybe. So guys, check out my next budget. Make sure to subscribe. Leave any comments down below if you've been to Cancun or any other Mexico City, tell me about your experience. Leave a comment down below, guys. Alright, guys. Thanks. Bye.